Hi all, Paulette with Back to Basics Mom here. Say so today I just want to show you. Um, I've talked a few times about pulling the stamps off of my wooden blocks because I don't like them and they're kind of clunky and uh, I don't have a lot of storage space. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how I do that now. Um, what makes a big difference is how old the stamps are. The newer they are, generally the easier they pull off. If they're super old. Sometimes when you pull them off, there's lots of residue on the back and it doesn't pull off nicely, but I'll talk about more of that, about that in a minute. So this one I just did, um, the cling foam stayed on there nicely. So this is a little gummy, which is okay because it will stick to your clear block, which I'll talk more about that in a minute, and it'll stick here. So since that came off nice, I'm going to leave it like that. Now you can, if it doesn't come off nicely and this rips, you can try um, separating them like this way. Um, sometimes they'll come off nice, sometimes they won't. Um, I have some older ones here that these all came on wood blocks when I originally got them. You can see now I have them as bare rubber. And I have added um, Aline's Tacket over and over to the back, which is just, um, here, let me get a block and I'll show you. So it sticks right on there, it doesn't come off, peels off and is just fine. Um, and actually what I have is I have a designated block um, for this. So what I've done to this block, this is like a four by four block. I got this at a garage sale for like 50 cents. So on one side of this, um, everybody has clear stamps, um, especially I love stamping up some of their clear stamps with just a cling phone in the image do not stick to blocks very well. So half of this block, I have Aline's the tacket over and over on there. And then I just keep this clear sheet on there so that doesn't get all dusty. But the other side I use, like for these ones that I have that are bare rubber, um, that have the tacket over and over, because every once in a while a tiny bit will pull off and it'll be sticky. Or for these ones, because sometimes these leave a little bit of a residue behind. So I keep this block, especially for these, because I don't want all of my blocks to have any residue left over. And I'm just, I'm really picky about my stamp blocks and how clean my stamps are and whatnot. That's just me. It's who I am. You do it however you like, but that's what I like. So I have this block pretty much designated to that. Um, and if I do get any sticky residue on one of my other ones, um, sometimes your stamp cleaner will take it off. Sometimes a little alcohol will take it off. If you really get desperate, you can use some Goo Gone. Just make sure when you're done with that that you wash it really good with soap and water so there's not any residue um, left on there from the Goo Gone. But that's one of the tricks I do when I'm having trouble and to keep my supplies clean, um, especially with these. Like I said, there's a little bit of, I can't, don't know if you can hear it. It's kind of sticky. Um, so put that on there. And these, because um, these were older stamps when they came off, a lot of these had a lot of um, the residue from the cling foam still stuck to them. So that took a lot of work. I used my, uh, oh, my little rubber square. Let's see if I can find it here. I'll show you what I used. Got my little tool kit over here. But I use this guy. This is an old, um, I got it from Creative Memories years ago. They sell them in the craft store, but it's basically a, a sticky remover. Um, so I just rubbed and rubbed. Spent way too much time probably trying to get all the, the residue to get the backs of these clean. But then this is again my glossy glossy cardstock I talked about um, in one of my other videos. It's just a it's kind of hard to find, but if you can find the glossy cardstock, or you can always laminate your own, or you save the clear sheets, whatever. And then I just store them in here. And these are kind of all these are not all from the same set. These are all various stamps that they're just, they're all floral, so I stuck them on here. Um, I got these all at a garage sale. So that's what I have. So basically what you're going to do um, to actually pull it off the block is it, it takes a little bit of time sometimes, but you just kind of, you can use your fingernail, use the tips of your fingers. Hopefully this one's going to come off good. The, the mate to it did. So just pull kind of gentle because you want to try not to rip the you're not going to rip the rubber probably unless it's really old. I actually did break the rubber on one stamp I did and that was something I got from a garage sale but that rubber was so old and brittle. But generally it just comes off 
Just kind of do a slow and steady peel. And there you go. So again, it's a little on the tacky side, but it'll stick down there very nicely. It'll stick on your block very nicely. We'll even I'll ink it up and I'll show you. Nope, we're not gonna use Versamark. We'll use our Versafine. Versafine's like my favorite ink right now because it's I find it to be a lot more versatile. Versafine, versatile. So you just ink it up and see it's it's not falling off. There you go. Easy peasy. So now I have this much to store versus this much. So you choose this much or this much. For me, this much because I have very little storage space and it's just, you know, what it works different for everybody. So whatever works for you, go with it. Uh, I'm going to fill up. I have another couple of loose Easter stamps that I'm going to put in here. So that's what I do. And then I have this set that I got that I'll be pulling the rubber off. So this is not too old of a set. And I really, I would prefer to keep the pictures on the backs of the stamps, but, um, that's one thing I I do like the stamps that have the pictures right on the back with the cling foam but it's more important to me to be able to store my stuff um, than to have the photo on it so it, it's just kind of one of those things I you know, have to weigh which is really more important oops so you know that one is starting to rip a little so I had to slow down go in from another angle and now this is time consuming. So if you have a lot of woodblock stamps, it's, it's going to take you some time. Maybe you've got some kids or grandkids or whatever that you can uh, have help you with this. Now, my fingers are very sore because I work in a kitchen for my day job. And um, so my, like, I'm just, my thumb is healing up right there because it's been cold and working in the kitchen. Um, old credit card, gift card, whatever, you can use that to kind of help loosen it up. Kind of get it down in there. Because, like, that was hurting my, my thumb a little bit. I wouldn't use something metal um, with a really sharp edge on it. But you can just kind of use that. I hope I'm getting. See, there we go. So, and you can see some of that sticky came off, and that's okay. And if you want to roll some of that off, or you know, it's kind of you know because there's a little sticky there, but you know, you can decide what's best for you. If you want to work on, sometimes you can just rub it off, or if you put it on your hand enough times, it's going to get it, so it's not quite as sticky. But you can see the stamp is intact. A little sticky on there. Sticky, 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 sticky. Word of the day today is sticky. Um, you can see even though that's split, it's still perfectly fine to use. It will stamp just fine. Oop, dropping stuff. Story of my life. Always dropping stuff. So I'm going to stick it on this other block here just to show you. Even though it tore that little bit on the back, it didn't rip the rubber. Let me do this. Nope, I got a little ink on my edge, so you can see I messed it up a little bit. But you can see the image stamped just fine. There's no indication of any problem with it. So there you go. Again, if you wanted to, to pull the, the, the foam off, you could do that. But I find with the newer stamps that are in pretty good shape that come off the block okay, it's kind of tough to... I'm going to clean my stamp while I'm talking. It's kind of tough to get the foam off the rubber with the, the newer ones that aren't as old and raggedy. 
so I have found it's just kind of better for my stamp to leave it. So, so that's what I do. Um, it's, you know, it's whatever you find works for you and makes you happy. <laughs> so I'm all about what makes you happy. It doesn't really, doesn't matter if it's not how I do it. I, you know, I've learned tips from lots of people online. That's where I got most of these things. A few things I, I kind of already had ideas about. And then I, once I saw somebody else do them, I'm like, oh, so that is doable. Um, so I hope this helped you. I hope it gives you some ideas and some freedom to not be afraid to, to try some new things. Uh, word of warning, you can, I'm not telling you um, that this is going to be perfect for you. You can, if you're too rough with them or they're too old, you can um, rip your stamps like I did I mention before. But um, that's all I have for today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more and you want to make sure you see what's going on with me. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page. Links are below. So thanks for stopping by. Find something crafty to do. Have a great day.